damn fan bearings. going on let me change hats here and I'll show you what we're gonna do today yep. let me put the hat cam in place never to uh... never too early for the hat cam anyway somebody was asking me how do you make these little flared ends like that in tubing and uh, you know I figured what the hell might as well do one real quick first what you need to do is get your Harbor Freight tubing kit that has uh, no instructions really makes it a lot easier it's a, it's a flare kit and what you want to do is you want to take this little doodad here which is a pipe cutter and you want to take your flaring your pipe that you want to flare this is uh, I believe 5 16 steel pipe you know like uh, fuel line tubing and you want to put this bad right on there and tighten it up and you know you spin it around everybody knows how little pipe tubing cutter works and then once you do that you want to take I have a flaring tool around here someplace but or a uh, deburring tool you want to deburr the end of it like that get all the burrs out and then what you do is you take the, your bar clamp deal and you find it says right there five sixteenths and so you want to take it and put it in with the with the beveled edge up kind of like that get it clamped in there good and then you want to put your little duty out up there like that and get it a little bit snug right at first just to hold it and then you take your selected one that's quarter inch you want to get the 5 16 little doodad here for your double flare there's the 5 16 and you see it'll fit in the tube and uh, see the next size up won't fit so you know you got the right one and what that is it's a little bevel doodad that has a bevel in it and that creates your first flare it pushes the metal together and you want to put your pipe in the clamp to where it's just about even with the flare with the with the base of the flaring tool you see like that so it's just about the same height like that and then you want to make sure that you're that you're tight and you're lined up here you want to make sure that these little doodads are even and uh, I always put an extra bend on these things because they always get too loose and so you want to tighten those bad rides up as tight as you can get them and sometimes I put some vice grips on there and get them real nice and tight oh well see I missed a step I'm not gonna use this piece but what you want to do is you want to put that on there first you want to slide that on so you know it's on the on the tube there and uh, I'm just gonna cut the end of this off because I'm gonna put some bins in it and stuff before I'm done I'm just doing this for all extensive uh, video making purposes anyway always put your your fitting on first with the uh, threads pointing towards your new flare see so this thing's already done so when you can uh, tighten it up it you know you'll have something to clamp down to but since I'm not ready to do my final deal yet I'm not going to do that anyway so you always want to tighten these doodads up as tight as you can get them to keep the to keep the uh, pipe from sliding out when you go to flare it now this is steel pipe and so this is really tough tough stuff and then what you want to do is you want to take your little clampy tool and you want to back it off this is your flare making tool here and you want to back it off and then you want to slide it over this dude like like so and see now it's it's right in there for the flare and then what I like to do is I like to take my little my little flaring doodad here and put a little bit of oil in it just a, a drop is good 
just a drop will do you and then you slide it in the end and then you tighten this bad right up like so and you just get it snug you want to make sure all this stuff's straight now you just get it snug and then what I like to do is I like to clamp this in the vise see like that and that way it holds it nice and tight not too tight but just to give me something to clamp on and then what you do is you look at it and you say okay I'm straight this way I'm straight that way and then you want to just Iron Man this thing like so and it's a you got to be an Iron Man sorry to say and you just get it all down in there nice and flat until it won't go anymore and then you back it off and you pull your little tool out Well, it's supposed to come out. It's kind of clamped in there. This is my favorite little tool. I made this thing a long time ago, and it just, it comes in really handy for all kinds of things. Usually that comes out a little bit easier. And what you do is you take this tool and you stick it back in the hole, like so, and this is a cheapy Harbor Freight one. And now you Squish that dude in there real nice and tight. And then you should have a nice flare. A double flared in. Now you see the double flared in in there? And what that does is then you can pull this back apart. What it does is the first one folds the, the pipe over on itself. Yeah, I know, I'm slow. That's what old age does to you. Because I'm just so old. But anyways, what you end up with is you end up with the flare like that. And it's a double flare. If you look down the tube there, this first one, the way it's concave like that, it, it takes like the square pipe or the round pipe. Let me see if I can find a piece sitting around here. Here you go. It takes that round edge and it folds it down in inside because it's got that that nice bevel if you can see that and it bevels it in and when you press on it it pushes it folds that metal in over on itself and then when you take this one and it presses on there it flares it out and presses that folded metal over to the side there and then you end up with a nice flare when you're done and you can uh, you know and when you have your your nut on there you end up with with something like like this you know and then you're ready to uh, hook it up to your fitting whatever you're gonna hook it up to and you're ready to go so anyway that's how you use a flaring tool to put fuel line and brake lines and stuff together uh, one thing I haven't been able to figure out yet maybe some of you forum guys know is the little lines on the end of the, the pipe there they kind of get scarred up and I mean I can smooth that out and paint over it but it uh, you know it kind of has to be clamped in there because the serrated edges on these things are I don't know if you can see that or not but it kind of holds the pipe so anyways that's how to uh, flare the a double flare on the end of a pipe so you can make your own fuel lines and stuff I'm Dave Motorhead and thanks for watching